In this video, I wanted to talk about how you can overcome your negative sleep thoughts. And I wanted to share with you what negative sleep thoughts are. And sometimes I call them limiting beliefs. They're kind of the same thing. And so I'm going to talk about what they are and give you ways in which you can help yourself overcome your negative sleep thoughts so that you can create better sleep for yourself so that you can start living the life that you want and not be so tired all the time. So for those who don't know me, my name is Carol Richard. I am the founder of the Sleep Success Academy. I love helping sleep deprived individuals get their sleep back on track so they can get to living their life fully and vibrantly and just enjoy the things that we take for granted when we're not sleep deprived. So if you are ready to improve the quality of your sleep, you can go to our website, sleepsuccessacademy.com. On the homepage, if you scroll down halfway through, you'll see where you can actually get a copy of your free guide, Five Action Steps to Improve the Quality of Your Sleep. You just have to put your name and your email address in there and a copy will be delivered to your inbox. That will also subscribe you to our email list. If you don't want any emails from us afterwards, just at the bottom of the email, any email we send actually, you can click the unsubscribe button. And at the same time, why not you subscribe to this YouTube channel? And if you find that these videos are helpful or you know someone that it could help, please share it with them so that we can just make the world a better place by helping people who aren't sleeping sleep better. And so back to the video where I want to talk about negative sleep thoughts and how can we help ourselves overcome them. So a lot of people will do a lot of the right behaviors. They do everything right and they still can't sleep because they have these thoughts that get in the way of their sleep. Everybody has a belief system. So I want to talk about belief system here first because we all have a belief system. Everybody has, they believe this or they believe that and everyone's belief system is different. And it usually happens because we've had different events that actually have created this belief system that we have. Now, what is different from person to person is the extent to which this belief system either helps them live an expansive, a beautiful life or a limiting life. And when we have negative sleep thoughts, it really limits our ability to sleep or to fall asleep because these thoughts are actually creating our reality. And the reality is, is that we don't believe we're able or capable of sleeping. Therefore, that's what happens at night. How can we overcome or transform these thoughts in order to sleep better? So I wanted to talk about kind of three things. I want to talk about the state of our nervous system and how that state informs the thoughts that we'll have. The second thing I wanted to talk about, how you can use tapping to help you transform those thoughts. And as well, the third thing, I'll share with you a link to a YouTube video that I have for a four-step process to transform your thoughts. The first one being the state of our nervous system. So I haven't met anyone who is having a hard time sleeping that does not have somehow a dysregulated nervous system. Because if we are, especially in fight or flight, we have this activated energy and it makes it really hard for us to fall asleep. And therefore it creates bad night after bad night of bad sleep. And it creates the thoughts that there's something wrong with us or no matter what I do, I can't fall asleep. Mine was, I can't shut my brain. There's no more off switch for my brain. It's broken. Therefore I can't go to sleep at night. So we all have different thoughts that get created and it really is about the state of our nervous system because if my nervous system was calm, quiet, I would go to bed and I would not have an issue sleeping and therefore my thoughts would be like, oh, it's so easy to fall asleep. Uh, I just love my bed. I can't wait to like wake up refreshed in the morning. But if our nervous system is not there. So step one is really asking yourself, what is the state of your nervous system? Is this activation, this anxiety, this stress always there? And what can I do about it in order to transform that? That will then transform my sleep. And then I'll think better about my sleep. So that's kind of the first thing that we look at. And then the second thing I'm going to bring in tapping, because tapping is the tool or the resource that I teach people in order for them to start regulating their nervous system. So if I have a lot of sleep anxiety or I have a lot of fear at bedtime or I have a lot of thoughts going like it's just not possible for me to sleep that creates the anxiety, we can start using tapping. And if you don't know what it is, there's a video that I'll also link in the notes 
telling you what it is and how you can start applying for yourself, applying it for yourself. And at the same time, if you are ready to learn more about it in the Better Sleep community, it's one of our biggest tools that we use in order to calm down our nervous system in order to have better sleep. Tapping would be my second way that I would say for you to calm those negative thoughts, negative sleep thoughts that happen because we have anxiety, that happens because we haven't slept in so long. And the third way that I will offer you that you can start transforming these negative sleep thoughts for yourself is a video that I have, and I will link it in the notes below. It's a four-step process to transforming your thoughts, where I take you through this process of like, what is your current thought or what is your current truth? What's happening in the moment? It's like, oh, I can't sleep. Then how does that make me feel? Well, it makes me feel shitty. It makes me feel like I'm broken. What if I could change that thought to something that was a little bit more positive? So yeah, I'm struggling with sleep now, but in the past I used to be a good sleeper or I'm not the only one struggling with sleep. And so how does this new thought that sounds more positive feeling now while a little bit hopeful or there's a possibility there's help out there? And you see, when we start listening to our thoughts and putting feelings to it, and then we do the work to transform it into something a little bit more positive. We don't want to go to like, I'm a great sleeper when it's not true, but just something that feels true, but that is a more of a positive spin to it. And we start speaking in that, that way, then our thoughts also change. And then our thoughts will change our behaviors because we'll believe that we're more capable of sleep or we won't be so upset when sleep doesn't come because we know we'll still be able to, to function the next day. So this is what I wanted to share in this video, that it is possible for us to overcome our negative sleep thoughts. This is something that we look at in the Better Sleep community. We're actually going to start a new group session starting September, beginning September. So if you're interested, just make sure to go to the website at sleepsuccessacademy.com and then go to sleep support page. And there you will see where you can register for the Better Sleep community. And at the same time, if you feel that you need more information, there's a button there you can press and you can book a free consult, free optimal sleep assessment with me. And we will actually discuss if the program is right for you. But I know that it's possible for every single person to achieve better sleep. I see the results in the better sleep community. I've seen the result with myself. And it would be my pleasure to support you, to help you overcome your negative sleep thoughts so that you can sleep better at night.